fixing this to me. So. so I should have brought the machine to tone and pressure wash it. Yeah, right. Yeah, we did not wash this before this video. Uh, <laughs> it's a working machine. This is a machine. working machine. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we think alike. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. haven't shaved. I look just as dirty as yeah. my machine because we work. Yep, exactly. Uh, hey, guys. We're here with John, my buddy John, who's a firewood guy here locally. And he brought over this uh, toy. Not really a toy, but a firewood processor. Attachment made by Halverson Wood Products out of Minnesota. And uh, his New Holland tractor skid steer. So, John, what is this? This is a firewood processor. It'll grab a log, roll it up on here. This table slides back and forth with a preset uh, length for your firewood. As you cut it, it drops down in. And as you set up your next cut, it splits your firewood. Yeah, so uh, what do you see kind of average for if you're working with hardwood, how many cords you get in an hour when you're running this? This machine and this uh, attachment will do approximately uh, depending on your wood if you have mini bolts uh, 6 to 12 inch you could probably do about two cords per hour and those are face cords uh, those are loggers cords. loggers cords. loggers cords. two loggers cords an hour so and with smaller wood which we've got behind the machine here you're probably gonna average somewhere between a cord to a cord and a quarter of loggers cord. Just for the simple fact that you have to grab each log individually. And your cycle time is? And your cycle time is the same, whether it's a little log or a big log, which big logs, you get a lot more mass production yeah. volume. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So John's got a couple different heads. This is the head, I guess, that you could switch out. He's got a six way? A, 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 an eight way. An eight way and a six way. Correct. Yeah. You can also have a four-way. And so these can get pulled in and out. And you can drop in a different one to make smaller pieces or bigger pieces. Or if you're working with smaller wood or bigger wood, kind of combine it however you want. This is the Halverson. Halverson HP 140B, which uh, they, they build a 140, which is for like a regular homeowner. The 140B is for like a business owner that cuts massive amounts of wood versus one load a year yeah yeah for sure built a little heavier duty yeah a little heavier duty made for lasting a long time a lot of a lot of folks will buy these for their place and order only order one semi which is roughly about what we have behind us and uh just do that so this is more made for doing loads and loads and loads of them this can be mounted on the front of a tractor right it can be mounted on the front of a tractor. It can be mounted on a mini hoe. Uh, the one big thing with this, you need 12 to 14 gallons per minute to run it. And a case drain. You have to make sure that you have a case drain. Otherwise, the motors and, and such for the saw and the rams moving would build up pressure and, and blow your motors that run the saw and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so everything on this is hydraulic. There's no electronic components besides just the electronic uh, controls on your hands. You know? Correct. Uh, but the saw is hydraulic, the table's hydraulic, and the the clamp, the arm that clamps the log, it's all hydraulic. So this is all run off the hydraulics of the skid loader as if it's like kind of like a power unit. Yeah. And as you can see, it gets a little dirty because it does work. Yep, yep, and it gets covered in covered in grease and sawdust and and dirt and everything else gravel so so yeah we're gonna run this machine we got a bunch of aspen here that we're splitting up for firewood bags and for camp firewood for this to sell this summer so there's 12 logger cords behind us of aspen and we're gonna be processing that today making a, a big pile we've got some totes sitting over here uh, off camera that we're gonna be filling to start with we only have three of them so uh, once those are full, then we're going to be making a pile and then getting ready to start putting in bags. One thing I'd like to add too before we go mm -hmm. is this machine is so versatile. You know, being able to come to your house, uh, I can put the machine and the attachment on a trailer, haul it in one load versus the bigger machines that you see. The tow behind. That you need a, you need a, machine to load the wood load the logs 
and then you process it with the processor and then uh, you, you have a minimum of two trips because you have to bring the processor in set it up this one here I could go I could do three logs I could do eight three. loads yeah that makes sense yeah so it's kind of like a sealed unit where you don't need anything else he could be in the middle of the woods using this thing and not have to have anything besides just bar oil and uh, diesel fuel in his tank and he can be cutting cutting uh, logs you can do a regular firewood that's yeah. crooked and all of that it just takes a little bit longer a little longer so if you're doing off-site stuff where you're not at your location uh where you're going places to process wood for other people this is definitely uh has its advantages yep. and a little plug for my business sticks and stones sticks and stones you, firewood if you can see that uh, firewood in northwestern Dartworth. wisconsin Yep. Yeah. If you're up here along Lake Superior, if you need some firewood done at your cabin, we so, can certainly come and get it done. Um, stay tuned to see this thing in action. It was, it was still out here. So I know we did. We had to have done cut. What's left here? All right, guys. So we are back. Uh, we have split ten cords today. Yesterday we sp split a decent amount of cords between our ash, the, uh, the some, oak, the oak, and uh, and the aspen. And the aspen. So we've been 
just playing around with a bunch of different woods. One thing to mention that happens with every processor, so it's not just the downside of this processor, is when you get small pieces, it takes longer. We mentioned that in the in the intro to this video. It's like, you know, your cycle time is the same, whether you're putting something this big through or you're putting something this big through. So uh, you just get more volume of split wood when it's a bigger piece. So, um, but thing didn't skip a beat. It's been, it did great. I'm super impressed and uh, yeah. And thanks to John for bringing it over. And thanks to you for buying wood from Hesmovich Forest Products. Yep, out of Ashland. Uh, yep. yep, I'm helping Brandon out on the bag firewood business. So I kind of felt obligated to come and help him do some of this pain in the butt small stuff because I explained to him that it takes a lot longer to do this smaller stuff, but that's what we need for the bagged wood. Yep. Yep. So, and then we were talking when we were off camera, uh, for those of you that don't know how easy it is to run one of these, I am officially and legally disabled. I went through the DVR program in Wisconsin to start my business. I personally like to burn firewood. It's a dry heat, 65 degrees, you're comfortable. I also burn propane at 78 degrees, I'm freezing to death or I feel like it. Yep. So being disabled, I needed to be able to find a process that I could do because I can't run a chainsaw anymore and I can't swing an ax. Broke my back five times in seven different places. Got osteoporosis in my spine. This allows me to be able to make firewood after my the rest of my family moved away, my sons and everything, and started yeah. their own life. So now with a five gallon bucket, I can carry wood into the house and I can still have a wood fire. Um, One of the things with the other processors is like, yes, the other processors process wood for you uh, quickly, but you have to have a man standing at the machine. And if you're not able to stand for, I mean, we've been at this for tens of hours now, you know, between all the projects correct. over the weekend. Correct. That's a lot for someone to be standing all day. For me, spending an hour in the machine and being able to get out and have you run it. Yeah, yeah, we've been switching Which a uh, very simple process mm -hmm. to be able to do. Uh, I know Halverson's, when I purchased this machine from him in January of uh, 21, the gentleman that owns Halverson wood processors told me his nine-year-old grandson demos these at home shows. So that's really cool. And so kind of a family affair. I'd uh, like to give a shout out to Tom. He was the sales rep that uh, helped me through the process. Uh, it was a three year process going through it, through the DVR program to be able to do this. Yeah. But I really appreciate everything that Tom had done. And uh, if anybody is interested in one of these, you can look me up on the internet, Sticks and Stones. Google up Firewood near Ashland, Wisconsin, and I'll come up there. It's S-T-I-X, yep. Sticks and Stones. And I'll put a link in the bottom, uh, in the description of this. I also put a link for uh, Halverson Wood Products, who made the processor. Um, New Holland doesn't need a shout out, but. <laughs> right, once in a while, and every, yeah. every machine and every product you have out there isn't always perfect, it's firewood. Yeah, right. So once in a while, a piece will stand up in the end or it'll get lodged in there or whatever. So the other guy that's outside, he yeah. comes over and helps out yeah. real quick or whatever. Keeps the, keeps the operator from having to get up Shut, shut the machine down and get up, yep. get out and, and set it back. So. And things do happen. We, we in no means want to say that this is perfect. Yes, exactly. But, but it does make a day go by a lot faster. This, uh, you may be able to see part of the pile there. We're probably about 30 feet long. And I would say most of it is about six feet high. And probably, what would you say, buddy? Uh, 15 yeah, feet 15, thick. 12 foot wide, yeah. So yeah. We, we did do 10 loggers cord today of this smaller stuff, which is kind of a heck of a day. Normally I'll do 10 cords of mini bolts, yeah. which is anywhere from eight to 15 inch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if there's any questions, feel free to get yeah. a hold of any one of us or make some comments or whatever. We appreciate all comments. Yeah. Definitely. Good and bad. If there's any questions, feel free yeah, to ask. Tell us what we're doing wrong too. That's yeah. I like I like that. If you uh, if you're watching this video and you're like, hey, you're doing that wrong, try this. Comment below. Right, right. Oh. I'm always for making things easier. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. All right, John.
John. So at this time, thanks for the opportunity yeah. to be thanks able to do out. this with yeah. you. Thanks for coming out. Thanks I've enjoyed making... it. I'm we've uh, played around with a lot of things for the last three days, and yeah. I, I know you had kind of inquired about these and and yeah. would like to try one and now we finally got the opportunity for you to do that and you have ran other ones definitely so. yeah and i hope it helps you guys if you guys have been wondering like hey you know you've seen videos of halverson's products online but you're like i'm not sure i just wanted to give you guys a raw honest you know video of it showing you guys how it works and how um like what we're using it for here yeah appreciate it thanks thanks for making big chunks of wood into small chunks of wood <laughs> Right. Too many people on the internet hurt each other for fun. It's not fun. It's actually, there's actually real people it's, on the other side of it's, this. It's bullying. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a bully? Are you a bully? Don't be a bully on the internet.